Hi everybody, it's just me LTM. I have another unboxing today. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate if you would do that. Let's get on to the unboxing. So on the box here, it is telling me about the function, the English is not absolutely fantastic, it says about this item features function making pull thread balls can make ball 100 grams to 10 ounces unbreakable metal crank and low noisy gear cast iron base and all stable gears make it last long it long lasting new reinforced nylon gears are as strong as metal gear but it can make low noisy noisy eye new design detail new design ring on the flyer make low noisy than other new design rubber padding give your table well protection ah so padding for the clamps hopefully sewing trimming scissors portable cutting scissor with cap color in random brief instructions large Works on table thickness up to 1.4 inches. Easy to assemble and disassemble. Feel free to return it within 30 days and get your money back guarantee. Made in China. So this is specifically, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the one that I am specifically after. Uh, it is hopefully exactly the same as the one that I borrowed from my friend. You remember me pointing out that it has an extra set of gears than a lot of the ones that I've seen available online. So, fingers crossed when we open up the box, this is exactly what I'm expecting. Let's find out. Okay, so this is the cone onto which you actually wind the yarn and that looks right it's got the two slits across the top where you put the yarn when you're winding it on and it seems to be about the right size so that's good that's as expected oh a troubleshooting guide so that's handy oh, and this is the uh, so this was kind of like bonus gift thing this is a tiny pair of scissors. So, you know, cutie little pair of scissors with a nice cap on the top. So safety, safety first. Uh, and, oh, okay. And this has instructions. So we have a small instruction booklet. Telling you how to put the machine together, which is handy and how to use it, which you've seen me do before. And then on the back is a troubleshooting guide. Oh, so that's really great. Some instructions, didn't really expect to get in instructions with it. And uh, this little small card, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you, you for your purchase. And Oh, and also some information here about you can perhaps adjust the tension on it as well. So now to the really important part. This is the bit that is the most important bit. So also down in the bottom we have this uh, large piece which is the yarn guide you may recognise from when I posted my previous video. Get rid of the box. And so then we have this piece, so let's open it up and see what we have in here. Okay, so you can see that we have the um, very large section of screw to attach it to the table. Ah, and on the back here there are some rubber rings, uh, pieces of rubber attached, so that will protect the bench top that you attach the machine to. Mind you, there's still 
I just unscrewed this a little bit. There's no rubber on here, so this bit will cause potentially cause damage to the underside of your bench where you attach it to. So, but I have a handy dandy piece of cardboard which is probably just in this drawer. <laughs> I keep a little piece of cardboard handy and so I will put that on top of there so that when I do attach this to my bench that it's not going to scratch the underside of my bench either. That might or might not be important to you, totally up to you. But what I'm really, really thrilled to see is this set of gears here. So this is the set of gears that I commonly did not see on many of the jumbo yarn winders that I looked at online. And this was specifically the kind of one I was looking for because by having these two, almost three sets of gears, you don't need to turn the handle as often for it to wind the yarn, which is fantastic. Now, slightly different to the one that I borrowed from my friend, I think, is that these brown gears here, this one, this one, and this one over here, underneath here, all seem to be made of nylon, whereas on the one that I borrowed from my friend, these were also metal. And this is obviously what they were talking about on the side of the box where they said new design, less noise. So certainly by having these nylon rather than metal, that is going to considerably reduce the amount of noise that it makes. Because I, I do admit that the other one is quite noisy. But because it winds the ball so fast, it hasn't really been an issue for me to date. And I do live by myself, so there's not other people <laughs> to be annoyed by the noise as well. Um, but yeah, so that could be a bonus. Um, potentially it could mean that they wear out faster than if they were metal. So that will be interesting to see. So yes, as you can imagine, the cone gets placed over here. Uh, you would have seen that when I was using it. And that other yarn guide, this, this large yarn guide here, gets attached to here where there is a washer and a butterfly clamp. So I am really happy. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm so pleased that it having arrived, it is exactly the design that I was after, that I wanted. So I can now happily return my borrowed one to my friend and I can wind yarn to my heart's content. So if you are looking for a good yarn winder, I highly recommend this style. I don't know whether there are other brands available or just grab the box again to get the brand name. So it's this LAMXD and it's called LAMXD Technology Co Limited. So as I was saying, if you're in the market for a yarn winder, I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend this one. It was on special at the time I bought it. Do a search on the internet for it and I am sure it will come up in your search results. Uh, just looking for the piece of paper to say how much I paid for it. So it was on special and I paid $39.99 Australian for this item. Shipping and handling was on top of that and there was also some tax on that as well so it looks like like GST it looks like it's 10% uh, but I couldn't vouch for that um, and actually that's not that's not Australian dollars sorry I'm quite sure that that is US dollars because the amount on here I paid considerably more than that thank you Aussie dollar yeah so there you have it the LAMXD jumbo yarn winder highly recommend you can be assured I will be attaching this to my bench very soon and winding some yarn because I still have a lot of yarn to wind into cakes. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful for you. Bye.